Well then guys, today is day two of my placement at DR Studios and yet again I am joined by the infamous, awesome, you know, sexy, bodacious lunchbox that my friend Alexander William. Give it up to this guy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how was your day today, Will? It was a great first day back for me because uh, obviously I've been off on my toe. I decided to man up, basically. Put a plaster on it. Jog on. Uh, <laughs> jog on, yeah. Walk it off. Walk, walk it, it off, off son. Yeah. <laughs> Got a book through today. I've uh, ordered a Maya book, so you might see my post on the forum starting from scratch. Why do you want to learn Maya? This, guys, is mainly because of Jason at the studio. It's what he models in, and actually, when I was working on a project for DR, all their models were in Maya format, and I don't know if you've ever tried to take a model from Maya, export it to an uh, FBX, and then put it into 3ds Max, so the scaling's a little bit out, and any rigging is destroyed <laughs> when, you, when you open it back up. So I, d I, I decided, instead of remodeling the model, I'd just learn Maya, and um, it was a great choice. It's like for me, for instance, I'm learning scripting, for artists, you could just jump on, you know, a different uh, Maya, for instance. Yeah, yeah. Learn really something different. There's so much to learn in the concept art. It's going to that, jump, yeah. <laughs> get into wilderness kind of thing. Yeah. Tell you something, I was I was talking to the guys at DR there, I was like, hey guys, you know, pleasure to meet you, but everybody does the work. But when it comes to break, throwing the games, gaming is such a social aspect now, isn't it? I think mm. it is. Mm. Online gaming. So when I said, I felt more at one with the, the co-workers when I was gay with them, because I felt like I was a part of this little group. But yeah, so anyway, I play WoW, and I'm proud. Well, I'm not proud actually, it's a waste of time, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, me and Jan both play, and... Um, Jan plays Alliance. Now, oh, okay. I play Horde, right? Yeah. And he plays Alliance. So, obviously, don't know about it. Google it. Urban Dictionary, whatever you want to find out, right? Horde versus Alliance, World of Warcraft, right? It's like, essentially, the most racist thing you'll yeah. ever know. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the best, best bit of it is, right, is the practical jokes, right? <laughs> so, Jan gets in late. Right, and I'm always in early, so I have plenty of time to mess about with this stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, you don't know about this, but um, not last week, the week before, before he came in, I, uh, I print off a tiny little horde symbol and cut it out and got some sellotape and sellotaped it to the bottom of his mouth, <laughs> right over the laser. So when he came in, he turned his computer on and went, why did it work? It got up, actually got stood on the desk to check that it was in at the back. <laughs> I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and then he sat down and he went, oh. Oh, oh, no, it's just a look across the office. <laughs> <laughs> Check this, right? Uh, Will, we went, we're looking around, he's showing me the ropes around the area. He goes, oh, these are games. He looks in, Will pulls out uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Guess what? Rat. Not even been opened. There's just <laughs> games in there, but you know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a> <laughs> 40 quid? <laughs> in corner. And I'm like, what? And then you look on the library wall. Mm -hmm. Do you like all these books you can buy off Amazon, like Unreal uh, booklets? Uh, what else? But yeah, for it, that book I bought on Maya, 30 quid, I think I paid for it. 30 quid. And there was another one in my, just an earlier version of Maya. Um, just, just sitting there, just oh. sitting there on the bookshelf. You, you can take them on, read them. So really, they are encouraged your learning as well uh, on your break times. Obviously, we're students, so they the encourage us to learn like a mofo. I tell you, we do. We've got dual monitors. Everyone, everyone has dual monitors. Oh, it's like, oh, derp a derp. <laughs> <laughs> I drilled a bit of this, I'm like, it's horrible coming home. <laughs> you, honestly, I'm going to get two screens now. Like it's, it feels wrong only having one. <laughs> Today we had a meeting, we had Tony. The Don, the God Yeah, he truly he is. is. Yeah. When you go into his office, right, totally off the topic. Well, when you go into his office, he's sitting there, he's like that. He's so cool. You know, he's, he's so on cool. He's going, he might have a go on his little iPad too. He might go back on that. And then he he'll come in and he'll say, yeah, come in. Yeah. yeah. Have a seat. Have a Have seat. seat. <laughs> okay. So, you come to me. <laughs> On release day, <laughs> and you don't call me the Godfather. <laughs> Why do you disrespect me like this? No, no. I really want to start oh, calling be, Tony the, the Godfather. Godfather. I want to call the Don. I think the, the Don would shoot yeah, him yeah. so much. Yeah, because he because he is honestly. You walk into his office, and that all he needs a bit, bit of that stuff in his cheek, like the real guy having yeah, the film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't <can't> imagine. <laughs> 
Well, well, let me tell you a story about working in the games industry. 